Hey, good Tuesday morning to you. It's Cleidra. I hope you are planning for a wonderful day. So listen, it is trash day at my house. And my husband has taken everything out. So I'm here in my office and there was a bag left in my office. And I was just going through some things with clients and emails. And I just want to share this with you that sometimes, good morning, good morning, that sometimes we have to take the trash out mentally and environmentally. Mentally and environmentally, you have to take the trash out. What I mean is, you know, really look at your thoughts around what you still believe is possible in your life. For me, it was 10 years ago, Thanksgiving, uh, which is why this is such an emotional time for me for so many reasons where um, God took me through a really dark wilderness season. And in that season, he was helping me take the trash out. <laughs> and that trash, a lot of it was mental and a lot of it was environmental. And what I mean by that, the mental trash were the thoughts that weren't aligned with who God says in his word that we are. And so many times we will adopt and believe things that other people have spoken in our lives about what's possible. We'll believe things from ourselves um, that, that speak against what the word says is possible for us. So take the mental trash out. And then the second thing is the environmental trash. You know, who are you around? And are the people you're around speaking life into your uh, dreams? Have you shared your dreams with people and they just poured water on them? If so, then it's time to take that environmental trash out and it's not that we're better than anyone else it's just that we don't belong together we don't belong together and sometimes I remember when I made the decision good morning Maria good morning Pastor John good morning when I, I made the decision Thanksgiving week 10 years ago to run a 5k and to begin my journey of releasing 70 pounds, I had so many people tell me why it wasn't a good time, why I wasn't going to be able to get the weight off. And I even had doctors tell me that, Cleidra, you know what? By the time you're 40, the way you're going, you'll be well over 300 pounds. So I know what it's like to have trash put into your mind. All right? And so I just want to encourage you this morning that if you're trying to make a decision that isn't popular, you know, for me, that wasn't a popular decision 10 years ago. Everyone else said, oh, don't worry about it. It's the holidays. But I knew what I heard in my spirit. I knew what I heard from the Lord. And what I heard in my spirit was run, lay aside all the weight and run. That's what I heard. And even though I was in the wilderness spiritually and it was dark and I didn't know what God was doing, I trusted what I heard, but I, I needed to take the trash out. So I just want to encourage you today to take the trash out. And if you are like I was 10 years ago and you want to commit to something that a lot of people are not in your corner, you do it, do it. The voice that you need to hear is God's voice. And once you've heard that, you don't need anyone else. I promise you. And this is the thing. Fast forward 10 years later, I just sent an email to uh, my community. It's over almost 3,000 people. And I remember thinking, God, what is the point of all of this? The point was he was using it all so that I'd be able to serve others. And that's the same in your life. God is using Whatever you're going through right now, as pointless and as challenging as it's not, it may seem like it's just nonsense, I promise you, I'm a witness. He is using it all because the character, thanks for the hearts, because, uh, oh, Maria, thank you, this is for me, because the character that he is um, building in you is the character you need for the very thing you're praying for. And this took me so many years to learn. I just had a class. I coached a class called Shift Happens. And in that class, I told my clients that when you are clear about your vision, when you're clear, what happens is then life is going to give you opportunities to grow into that vision. 
And the way we typically interpret those opportunities is, I can't believe, here we go again, as soon as I decide to lose weight, look, the roof starts leaking, there's a, a flat tire, or as soon as I decide to write my book, or as soon as I decide to launch my coaching practice, uh, you know, my baby gets sick, or I got an argument with my husband, or something's going wrong with my family. And we misinterpret those things. Those are actually divine because in order for us to step into the vision, it's not that God hasn't heard us. It's just somehow we mistakenly believe that when we get clear on the vision that the path is just going to be clear. No, we have to be the person who can hold that vision when it's a reality. And what I mean by that, we have to be it in terms of character. We have to be it in terms of the fruit of the spirit that we need to hold on to it because God doesn't just want to give it to us. He wants us to keep it. So he lovingly, lovingly sometimes takes us through the valleys and the wilderness and the dark times because he needs to grow us up and grow us into who we need to be. So I can tell you guys, doing. Hey, DJ. DJ says, this is great. So I can tell you guys, you know, 10 years ago when I was filing for divorce and had just had the memorial service for my only baby, I can tell you, I thought God was being mean to me. Like, God, how could you? I did this thing the way you said it should go down. And how could you do this to me? Fast forward, what I know is I was nowhere close to being ready to have what I was praying for a decade ago. I didn't have the patience. I didn't have the kindness to be a pastor's wife. <laughs> I didn't have the self-control. These are fruits of the spirit. I didn't have the ability to hold pain without making you responsible for it. I didn't have the emotional maturity to sit in discomfort. You know, I was still binging when things would go wrong in my life. And so I just want to share this with you guys. Take the trash out, you know, and don't be afraid to do some things that, um, you know, aren't popular in a season where people may be, the masses may be saying, oh, it's holiday, do so and so. Um, get quiet with God and, and do what he says, because I promise you, uh, on the other side of the valley and the dark times, you know, he will hold your hand through that valley. I'm a witness. Oh, I'm a witness. He will hold your hand through that valley. Um, so anyway, I will hold on a second and see if you have any questions. Maria, I'm so glad this was for you. DJ, so glad this is um, great. Um, all right. So anyone else? I'll hold on a second. I hope you all are getting ready for a wonderful holiday for those of you who are in the States watching me and you're celebrating Thanksgiving. So God bless you. I appreciate you for watching. You know, I got on Facebook eight years ago. Um, no, yeah, eight years ago, actually, as I was going through my divorce because I just, you guys were the way I started learning how to socialize again as a single woman. Um, and you've been with me through the transition of, of now, you know, the life that God has blessed me to lead. And I, I just appreciate all of you. I really do. So thank you for watching. Um, have a wonderful, wonderful new day. And remember, it's trash day. Take out the trash. All right. Take care. Bye.